Hi everybody, welcome to the board of the Bantu. I'm pre-recording this on the same day so that I can take a break during uh, Christmas and um, New Year's Eve. And so this is 2022. I'm not going to open the board of the Bantu in this uh, video because I already opened it. I'm not about doing things just for sure. I already opened it. So welcome to your board again and we are going to check out what the year 2022 is going to be like in review. We are reading the energy of 2022, okay? Let me just um, time this because I can go on and on and on and on. So let me time it. Give me, some, give me a moment here. 2022, I feel, is going to be interesting. <laughs> I feel it's going to be interesting. I just feel the world is in for... Um, a few differences here and there, you know, I feel, this is what we feel before we even throw the shells and I have already put it on my Instagram, so I will read it out from my Instagram so that I can expand on it, expand on it, expand on it, okay, I will expand on what I put on my Instagram, okay, um, 2022, I said, long distance relationships are going to die due to travel restrictions traveling is going to be tough and people are going to rethink traveling randomly okay they're going to move for important things only this won't hit severely in 2022 but will in 2023 couples who are long distance are going to be forced to either commit or break up we will see we will still see we still see a lot of marriages and babies a lot of black and brown people will be in courts. The brown people for internet hacking and stealing and the black people for some false loans and things like that. This is especially for the United States and I do do my readings especially for the United States. There's going to be a lot of people who are going to be arrested for falsifying documents or misusing loans and most of them are black. Okay. Um, they won't, you know, they, yeah money misused uh during coronavirus this is the year the world will give its final fight against covid yeah we're, we're, we're way towards the end when it comes to that they're getting tired and they're broke all right broke 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 countries are going broke over this and um we will see a lot of government controls easing at the end of the year except vaccinations the unvaccinated are really going to come up close and personal with the worst discrimination ever Okay, people who continue to die of COVID, race issues are going to take a back burner. It will no longer be about race issues, it will be about, about health issues, okay, which will then bring up race issues in 2023. Okay, um, the struggle for reparations is going to quietly heat up. I've been wanting to do a reading on reparations and I haven't, so I will do it uh, today. The nerds are going to tighten their hold over the world. The creative industry is going to suffer in general. They are going to have to change the way they do things because the controls are going to choke them. The end of hip hop begins in late 2022. It's going to be very quiet, you know. It meaning the end, I, I don't mean they're going to stop playing hip hop and doing hip hop, hip hop, but it's just not going to be making as much money. It will wrap up in 2024. To be honest, we're entering the era of white artists because they know how to sell depression. Okay. So, I'm not going to touch on all of these. I'm just going to touch on some. Okay. So, um, we'll do COVID 2022 just for like five minutes and then we'll move on to something else. Coronavirus, show me 2022. Coronavirus, show me 2022. Coronavirus, show me 2022. I'm getting the map, the map, the map is up. It's actually, COVID is going to get worse, 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 worse in 2022. 
The reds are everywhere. Mm -hmm. The red soldiers are everywhere. You know, it's going to get worse in 2022. No buts, no what's about it. We are looking at a bigger spread of the disease. But mo mostly the energy we are getting from the people of Earth is that they are tired. They can't. They can't live this. They are tired. They're going to put that laissez-faire attitude of Africans like dying is dying, man. Let me just live my life. You are stopping me. You're restricting me. Let me just live my life. If I die, I die. If I live, I live. And basically, that's the energy we are getting even from governments, from business owners, from those who run the economy and those who run the world. They are losing a lot. They've lost a lot. They have lost a lot of money. They have lost so freaking much. Okay. And so... They are reaching the point where they are saying, whatever, dying is dying. Um, 2022, around August, September 2022, you shall see that things will change. The world will just open up and say, God, do you die if you die? We don't care anymore. They will... Um, Be trying to recover economically and it's gonna take countries a lot to recover frankly speaking the only countries that are not really gonna suffer from uh, an economic shutdown because of coronavirus are the Africans <laughs> I don't mean Africans will rely on tourism like South Africa no I mean the Africans in inner Africa, they have just been going about their business, right? So we are getting that world economies are going to collapse and they'll be on the brink of collapse end of 2022. So they will decide, okay, you know what? Collapse or die. The point is we are, but before they give up, there's going to be a huge, huge fight. So coronavirus. Let's see if there's anything that I didn't channel and I didn't see because my elders want me to channel more. They say you're strong, you are too strong to be, you know, guided by shells and air. Yeah, right now, of course, we all know that there's plenty of death, right? Right now, if you don't know it, you know, there is plenty of death, and this trend will continue, it will continue worldwide, and this will cause countries to give up and change strategies so strategies of containing this disease are going to change but i think we said it months months ago you know in some other video that things will never be the same again your manager is never gonna go back to to uh, the old ways we're not so we can't okay Let me find another one um, because I was going to um, okay tell me about the legal justice system 2022 tell me about the legal justice system in America 2022 tell me about the legal justice system in America Tell me about the legal justice system in America. Like we saw, a lot of Asians, the brown ones, are, are going to be arrested for crimes committed against humanity during COVID using their laptops, okay? They are going to be an interesting type of people that are going to be arrested we are thinking that we're going to see younger generations being arrested for that but no actually that's not the case these are men in their 50s and 60s who've been doing this we are seeing a whole line of them lines and lines of them which is going to change america's immigration system they are no longer going to be trusting asians who know how to use computers and such to come into the country which is going to bring some kind of racism but that's not all in 2022 2022 is the beginning of them going to prison is the beginning of them realizing that they are not so smart okay yeah 
they're gonna fall they're gonna fall as huge groups of people like huge groups of these hackers and these things because they've literally hacked into banking systems and these banking systems are keeping quiet about it but it's been an active thing yep they're gonna fall okay now let's look at um, loans this keeps coming up there are people who took loans under false pretenses or didn't do things about them biden is coming up to you in 2022 so what's biden gonna do yeah biden is uh taking you out of society he's coming after you in 2022 if you took a loan and you didn't use it the way you were supposed to or you didn't pay it back biden is coming after you and he really just wants the money back he doesn't really want to lock you up so if you're one of those he doesn't want to lock you up he just wants the money back so you'll be trying to collect it more than locking you up but yep they're coming after you we saw that already nobody is getting away with that no one he they need their money they are broke everybody's broke they need their money okay um what else um, um okay the unvaccinated are already said that in another video about what's going to happen to you and then the struggle for reparations yes i've been wanting to do this reading ever since i saw the african-american woman reparation. so i'm gonna ask the veil can you tell me to how far will the reparation story go how far will the reparation story go how far she is um not aggressively footing it when i say footing it um she's not treading with heavy feet about it right now this woman is like in her late 40s she is gently making her way she had to give up the fight for reparations because you know she's lobbying and so on she, she she's gonna have to give it up in a few months due to covid okay it's gonna have to give it up it's gonna be like they're gonna decide she's gonna be blocked by someone who has the power somebody's who have the power they're gonna tell her that she's gonna stop working on reparations right now because one there's no money one the government has no money and two is covid and we have got you know so she's gonna in a few months she's gonna stop that's so depressing i told you that she was going to continue this for those of you who were not on my instagram and who didn't read the post we saw that an african-american female was finally going to lobby and fight and with a group of people for african-americans to get their reparations and african-americans are going to get millions of dollars and you know hundreds of thousands or whatever individually given to them by the government of the united states but after the government of the united states pays off those reparations they will remove all the laws that um about affirmative action and about racism and all that they'll remove them so i'm seeing it's not happening in biden's time and it's not happening in the next president's time and oddly enough it almost just hitler like the hitler like president is going to pay these reparations and then you know he can do what he wants after that okay alrighty next <sighs> that's kind of sad but COVID has changed everyone's life okay um i don't want to do the i should do the creative industry okay um what we saw before is what we continue to see we continue to see that um you know um hip-hop is making its way out like we we said you know but it's 
in slow degrees of there's no money, there's no money, it's not making any more money. And the depressed uh, IVF babies who have an interesting view of the world are going to take over the, the music industry. And two particular uh, females, they popped out and I mentioned it in my other um, Instagram post. Uh, they popped out more than the other. The other one I had to search for because I barely know her, but my ancestors pulled it out. Um, Olivia Rodrigo, IVF baby, who is very much like Billie Eilish. So the new music that is going to hit us is going to be a whole lot of anger, a whole lot of rage, a whole lot of self-centeredness, a whole lot of, um, you know, me, 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 oh my God, I'm locked in a box, I'm locked in a box and nobody can see it. Oh my God, the darkness is great. The darkness is great. The anger is great. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Because that's how they view the world. That is the energy that comes with them. There is a slight disconnection between them and those who, whose parents did it in the backseat of a car. Okay. <laughs> That's, you know what I'm saying? That's that. And they are entering the era. This is their era because coronavirus has isolated and disconnected people and they have a deep understanding of that. They totally get it. Like um, Blue Ivy gets it because she's IVF and the twins get it because they are IVF and Kim Kardashian's kids get it because they are IVF. Do you know what I'm saying? They have a whole um, society there and they happen to own all the wealth and as the wealth shrinks because of this disease and the next one that's coming, the wealthy will get less and less and less. They'll become a smaller pool, but then most of them will all be IVF and they came with that energy because the way they were made, it disconnected them slightly from humanity, isolated them, right? Not their fault, isolated them. They did not, that's conception, it's, it's hard to explain. That conception, you know, when the sperm goes into the egg, the natural way it's done in a woman's body, right? And the sperm swims in warmth and gets inside, you know, flesh, there's flesh, there's warmth, there is flesh and there is warmth in the flesh and there is comfort and there is protection. The flesh hugs, the flesh totally hugs. Now, IVF, the petri dish connection first before the egg is inserted in the woman, that petri dish, it's so cold. It may be kept at warm room temperatures, blah, 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 but it's so cold and there is a cold energy that seeps into the energies of their souls. And then, you know, they go, they are finally introduced to their mothers, but you know, into the womb of comfort and protection and heat, but the damage is already done. That little disconnection right there, it's already in existence. And so their artists, their artists, when they sing, they really know what disconnection is and they really show it, you know, they really show it. And they will be ruling the airwaves in one form or another um, in five years. Even North is going to be a singer. Even Blue Ivy is going to be a singer. Everybody is going to be a singer and everybody is going to share. It can be seen in Willow, Willow Smith. That disconnection, it's in Willow Smith. It's in all of them and it's going to become natural because there are so many of them in the upper echelons of society. It can be seen in Malia Obama and her sister, that disconnection. It can be seen, they all have that, they are a tribe with that disconnection and so they are coming into their own and they are in five years they are literally going to rule they're going to control everything um what else is going to happen in 2022 
precarious weather but then that's it's almost like the world is rearranging itself slowly 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 one step at a time one step at a time very very slowly the world is rearranging itself because a new world is coming but we will probably be dead and gone by then there are no wars of great importance coming to the world in 2022. Everybody is trying to stay alive and everybody is trying to survive this. So every country is just getting more and more insular. Once again, we see great migration, human migration. Um, great human migration, which will only end in about three years starts really in 2022 and ends in about three years the economies they're all going to do badly a lot of people are going to be without no matter which country because and that is what is going to force the countries to say whatever okay we die we die we live we live And that's it that's it we are on the precipice of change as a people and we don't even see it the change isn't one year only the change is five to seven years the change is gonna happen we're on the brink we are going through it and I would like to end this video by saying what I always say it does not forget that we're built for this time It's in our energies as souls. We were built to see the beginning and the end of an era. There is no one else who can go through this except us. You know the thing about channeling? I'm like, I'm hearing the beginning of totalitarian regimes starts in 2020. Two. on that note happy new year everybody it's good to enter 2022 with you and may we keep working together because this is our time at some point we shall all be ancestors <laughs> but right now right here no matter what, this is our time. Much love.